Okay, watch right here what we're going to do with the table saw's miter gauge. And we also use a square to line up the angle that we've drawn on the plywood. So uh, we'll get back to it a little further on in the video. We've cut out the tops of the forward hatches already here, and now we've started working on the sides. Uh, we're going to put them together, and then we're going to take them out to the hulls themselves and try them on for size, see how they work. And once again, they were just perfect. Line with the blade. Yeah, that's if you're cutting a line that's at an angle, in any case. Uh, and it's longer than what you can get on the chop saw's bed. And you don't have a panel cutter handy that will do a, an angle. Anyhow, you line up the blade with the line that's on the board. You bring the little push thing here, whatever they call this. I don't know what they do call this or so either. In any case, pull it back, turn it on, let her rip. Just make sure that you do not keep your hand away from the blade. behind that for me is is you don't have to deal with what the angles are in order to, to cut them. It's a lot quicker just with using the straight edge along the blade and down the line. Just because I didn't show this before, I added a fence here if you need a little more room to hold on to it. If you're using it from this side, you can actually make the fence longer and don't raise your blade clear to the top. But as it is now, we've lined the blade up with the square here to where the line is on the this. This would actually cut through the wood as long as you make it high enough. Both Most of these miter gauges, or at least some of them, I don't know, I say most, a lot of them have two holes in the back so you can screw a pan head screw into a fence out of a piece of scrap wood. So, click it on here. Don't raise the blade any higher than you need to in order to cut the wood. But uh, the fence can be, help hold a, a longer piece or whatever. Like I said, and if you've got a larger piece like this, this allows you at least to get the, the right angle going down. And we started ripping the sides for the cabin top hatches, which life got in the way and we didn't have time to get to them in the last week. And finally, we're gluing up the forward hatches. Uh, we did double the tops of them just to give us a little more strength but uh, nothing really revolutionary here. Have a good day.